Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuka Takashi, and I'm an undergrad at the University of Tokyo. Today, I would like to present a new feature called Bash Auto Completion. We've been implementing this feature as a Google Summer of Code project this summer. As you know, command line auto completion in general is a feature which completes the command you typed after pressing tab and makes your command line development more efficient. Normally, this auto completion is realized by someone's effort. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Collecting a list of flags and writing custom shell script. For Clang, this would, this would mean a lot of work as a Clang compiler has to ship with hundreds of flags that rapidly change between versions. So the portability of these auto completions are low. Another way to implement shell completion is to pass help minus v. This is smarter than the previous one, but this can still cannot um, autocomplete flags values because help doesn't show them. So in this project, we made an API in Clang driver which dynamically queries available flags, its descriptions, and values. The command line flag named autocomplete was added to Clang, and Bash handles this flag. When the user presses tab in Bash, Bash will execute clang minus autocomplete equal query. The execute clang driver will then search for the appropriate flags or values and return them with descriptions, and Bash will print them. You can always complete one flag at a time. So if you want to use this API, you have to select the flag that the user is currently typing. Then you can just pass this flag to the autocomplete flag in the selected clang binary. So in this example, all flags start with minus tr are displayed with their descriptions behind them. This API also supports the completion of the values of flags. This was our main focus this summer. You can provide an incomplete value behind the flag, separated by comma, to get auto completion for its values. So in this example, all values of minus std live equal, which start with L, are displayed from Clang. This is an example of bash front-end implementation. When Clang minus std equal tab was typed from user, shell has to parse the command and execute Clang minus autocomplete equal minus std equal and print the result from the Clang. And this is an example of a Qt implementation. If you want to ship this feature with IDE like Qt, you have to pass commands by the same rule as shell and execute Clang from your IDE. With this API, you don't have to modify the autocompletion script when some flags are added or some descriptions or values are changed. So it can support every future version of Clang, starting from Clang 5.0, and this is already available for use. And we can call this API from any shell, so it has high portability and it can shift to any shell. Um, for further information, please see the blog we wrote on LLVM blog and GSOC final report. Thanks for your attention. Um, if you have questions, please talk to me afterwards.